Sue Brewer was raised in Dardanelle, Arkansas. She moved to Nashville in 1963 after getting a job publicizing concerts for country singer Webb Pierce. And by following his tour and making various appearances in his custom silver dollar car. When she returned from the tour, Brewer found a job waitressing at a Nashville bar, the Derby Club. When she closed for the evening, she noticed many of the songwriters and musicians didn't have a place to go home. So she soon turned her apartment at 911 18th Avenue South into an after-hours clubhouse for music folks. Hosting guitar pulls in her living room were writers such as Chris Christopherson, Waylon Jennings, Roger Miller, Harlan Howard, Willie Nelson, Dallas Frazier, or Jack Clement. They could all gather and swap songs with one another. She dubbed their hangout the Boar's Nest. The truly broke among them, and that was most of them, always could find a place to sleep on her floor. In 1972, Vince Matthews and Shel Silverstein co-wrote on Susan's floor in her honor. It has since been recorded by Mac Wiseman, Gordon Lightfoot, Hank Williams Jr., and several other artists. Sue worked nights as managing partner at George Jones' Possum Hollow nightclub. She wrote a column for Music City News for a decade. She was a working single mother throughout her life in Nashville. She fought breast cancer for 12 years before passing in 1981 at the age of 48. Toward the end of her life, she answered fan mail for Waylon Jennings. In 1984, Jennings established the Sue Brewer Fund, which provides scholarships for students at Belmont and Vanderbilt universities. In 1985, Jennings honored Sue with a two-hour television special named The Door is Always Open. She was inducted as an honorary member of the Nashville Songwriters Hall of Fame in 1990. Let's hear from the executive director of the Nashville Songwriters Hall of Fame, Mark Ford. Hello, I'm Mark Ford, Executive Director of the Nashville Songwriters Hall of Fame. I'm here to congratulate the family and friends of Sue Brewer, one of Source's 2021 Hall of Fame inductees. Sue is legendary for her generosity to Nashville struggling songwriters, many of whom she championed during the 1960s and 70s. If writers needed help, be it a little cash or a place to crash, they turned to Sue whose living room became an after-hours clubhouse where songwriters would gather to swap songs late into the night, eventually early into the morning. In 1990, in recognition of her generosity, Sue was inducted into the Nashville Songwriters Hall of Fame alongside so many of the legendary songwriters that she befriended. It's gratifying to know that once again, Sue's contributions are being honored with her induction into the Source Hall of Fame. Congratulations. It is an absolute joy to induct into the 2021 Source Hall of Fame, Sue Brewer.